crime punishable by no less than 15 years in a maximum security prison. Or at least it should be. All right, I'm up. Let's see who's too stupid to not be sleeping at this hour. Oh, it's you, Harry. What are you looking for? Leftovers. In this house? Nothing is left over. So I see. What I really had my appetite set on was that nice, plump, juicy bluebird. Mmm, does that look like good eating? But I'll bet you've had your eye on that one for a while, right? Not right. I never chase any bird smaller than a roast turkey with stuffing, mashed potatoes, cranberry sauce, and that cream corn that John's mother made. What? No bird chasing? I gave it up. Too much work, too many feathers, not enough drumsticks. Then, uh, do you mind? Be my guest. Bluebird pie, here I come. <laughs> you win this round, bird, but I'll get you next time. Maybe those trash cans over on Maple Drive will have leftovers. Chasing birds. Looks like fun. But I'm not going to get back into that again. My chasing bird days are behind me. No, no! They're ahead of me! I must chase birds! Okay, if you were a cat, you'd understand. <clears throat> the hunt is on! Get away from me. Do -de -do -do -do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Get away from me. I'll just wait here until she comes back, and then I'll catch her. She has to come back. She left her eggs here. dinner to return. <laughs> the Garfield strip's funny today. I just gotta wait here. <sighs> no matter how long it takes. She shouldn't leave her eggs alone this long. Not with creatures like me about. What's wrong with that mother bird? Leaving her eggs alone all day? She kind of cold. I don't think that's good for them. Oh well, not my problem. I'll chase her tomorrow if she comes back. She has to come back. She has to take care of those cute little eggs. The female bluebird lays a clutch of three to five Hi like Garfield. Eggs. I'm watching a very interesting documentary. Anything about feeding your cat? It's all about birds hatching eggs. The incubation process in which the female sits on the eggs to keep them warm takes around two weeks. It's not that warm out there. 
If the heat is not maintained, the eggs will perish. Perish? Oh, well, like I keep telling myself, it's not my problem. <sighs> oh, I think I'll just give me a little sneak. Perish? Maybe I'll just make sure the mother bluebird has come back to sit on the eggs. I'm sure she has. She hasn't. Oh, this is not good. Maybe a muffler or a heating pad. I wonder if there's a place up here to plug in an electric blanket. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Okay, but don't tell anyone I did this. There you go. Keep warm the legs. It's just until the mother bluebird comes back. She'll be back any minute. Any minute. Born. Oh, and now there's another one being born. And this one. Oh, I'm a mother. What am I thinking? No, no, no. I'm I'm not your mama. Wait, stop that. I'm not your mama. I'm a cat. Honest. I am. Here, listen to this. Meow. Meow. See? I hate to abandon the little fellows, but I don't know anything about taking care of baby birds. No, not Mama. Why are you unclear on this concept? Oh, good time for a nap. It's always a good time for a nap. Birds, but I'm not cut out to be their mama. <sighs> what? You guys again? Look, you can't stay with me, fellas. And my water dish is not a bird bath. I don't care what you say. You can't live with me. And stop calling me Mama. Oh. Now you're gonna stay there, and that is an order. Don't look at me like that. I can't take care of you guys. You need someone who can teach you how to fly. I can't do that. You need someone who can share worms with you for lunch. I really can't do that. I'm not gonna look at him anymore. Your real mother will be back sooner or later. Now goodbye. Bye-bye, bluebirds. They'll be just fine. What if the mother bird never comes back? They could be cold. They could be hungry. <gasps> Be Harry's lunch. My babies! Mama, mama, mama. Hey, hold it down, little guys. I'm gonna be eating. Let me have those birds, Harry. Get your own lunch, Garfield. I said, let me have those birds. Hey, that's my meal. I saw him first. Hold it down, guys. If Harry catches us, you'll be bluebird sandwiches. Those birds are mine, Garfield. You can't get away from me, Garfield. I'm faster and I'm stronger. He's right. He is. I need a place to hide them. That's not fair, Garfield. I don't eat your lasagna. You could leave my bluebirds. Mama! Mama! Oh. 
Oh, big mistake. Now I'm trapped. Big mistake. Now you're trapped. I said that. <laughs> Ouch! Stop! Don't hurt him. Or me. Don't hurt any of us. Now, finally, it's lunchtime. No! <laughs> I'm giving up eating birds all together. No, no, I, I was taking care of them. <laughs> Not me, guys. That's your mama. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys. Come visit. Okay, so I saved some birds. You didn't see that, okay? I know where you live. person to invent a remote control for vacuums will be adored and venerated by all of cat kind. I know it's early, Garfield, but Liz's parents are coming over soon and everything needs to be perfect. Oh, I can't greet them like this. What kind of a first impression would that make? Mm. Oh. An honest one? I know Liz's parents will be watching me like a hawk and analyzing my every move. John, I think a walrus threw up on your shirt. Ah! Odie, well-bred dogs don't beg. You can't... Odie, I just got through mopping that floor. <sighs> I'll deal with it later. Now, where is that expensive caviar I bought? Mm. Ah! Mm. All right, listen to me, you two. <laughs> My future with Liz is at stake. When her parents get here, I expect you both to be on your best behavior. And to make sure that happens, there's a little reward in store for you. Whichever one of you two makes the most effort to make a good impression will get a special treat. <laughs> Odie, go fetch the grooming brush. I'm going to give you two a little makeover before our guests arrive. Oh, no way. I'd rather cough up a giant hairball than share a brush with that mangy flea bag. I'll do my own grooming, thank you. Have it your way, Garfield. But Odie just scored a point in the effort category. Good boy, Odie. Good boy. What a suck up. I think I'll uh, fit in a little beauty sleep before the guests arrive. My suit! Get your filthy paws off me! Oh. Down, boy! I said get down! What in the world is going on out here? I'll tell you what, that maniac dog of yours pounced on us. You should have him on a leash if he can't behave. Odie, bad boy. I am so sorry about that. Please, please, come in. and We'll get all of you cleaned up inside. That goes for you too, Odie. Oh. 
Hi, John. Nice shirt. Minus one for Odie. That reward is mine. He doesn't usually jump on guests like that. He, uh, he must have been really excited to meet you. Speaking of which, you haven't been properly introduced. Mom, Dad, this is John. John, these are my parents. Hi, I'm Mrs. Wilson, but you can call me Daddy. And I'm Mr. Wilson. Ha <laughs> Um, <laughs> nice to meet you. <clears throat> I, uh, I believe you're already well acquainted with my dog, Odie. <laughs> and that's Garfield, my cat. My, that's a fat cat. Liz, dear, you really should put that cat on a diet. Oh, it's a pleasure meeting you, too. You've got a nice place here, John, but I must say, this house needs a woman's touch. I don't know about the house, but John certainly does. That being said, an extra hand in the kitchen wouldn't hurt. So, John, Liz tells us you're a cartoonist. <laughs> That's right. I, uh... Personally, I've always been for solid, respectable careers. None of that fancy schmancy stuff. I'm a tax auditor myself. That would have been my second guess. After Undertaker. Bad boy, Odie! <laughs> He's usually very well behaved. Minus two for Odie. Reward, come to Papa. Raising pets is like raising children. It requires a great deal of discipline. Do you plan on having children one day, John? Dad! Speaking of children, I haven't introduced you to my son yet, John. Your son? Uh, Liz didn't mention she had a brother. John, this is Petey, my pride and joy. <laughs> I raised and nurtured him ever since he was a baby. I can trust your pets with him, can't I? Uh, oh, sure. Uh, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> because if any harm came to him, I, I, I just don't know what I'd do. But it breaks my heart to keep him cooped up in a cage. So she coops us up instead. She spends her time closing windows. And you spend it opening them. He's always saying it's stuffy. Isn't he the smartest, cutest little thing? <laughs> he's the son I never had. I would have said plump and juicy, and he's going to be the hors d'oeuvres I'm going to have. Yes. Try it. See what happens. It'll be the most fun I've had in ages. Trust me. Hey, I went to a lot of trouble chasing you, so humor me. Fight, struggle, beg, plead. Oh, please, Mr. Cat, don't eat me. There is that exciting enough for you? Oh, uh, you're gonna have to do better than that. Garfield? <laughs> I'm warning you, Garfield. If I catch you with that bird again, you can forget the reward. And no TV for a no, month. Stop. I wouldn't gloat if I were you. I may be minus one, but you're minus two. Ah, forget that insipid sack of feathers. It's like trying to get an adrenaline rush from a slice of plain white bread. Animate pre-slice cold cuts are a hundred times more exciting. Please, please, <gasps> please, Mr. Cat, eat me. Come on. I know you want to. Just do it, please. Hey, you're supposed to beg me not to eat you, Dodo. But I must admit, you're slightly more tempting in sandwich form. What's taking so long? Hurry up! Well, if you insist. <laughs> <laughs> Petey? Oh, look! We're all out of hors d'oeuvres. Why don't I go into the kitchen and get us some more, huh? Oh, I see you've made yourself a nice... <laughs> Canary sandwich! I'll give you one last warning, Garfield. If anything happens to that bird, I'll put you on a diet of bread and water for life! Oh. 
I need to get as far away as possible from that psycho bird. Petey. Petey, where are you? Come to Mama. It's not like him. He never leaves my side for long. Don't worry, Mom. He couldn't have gone far. Yeah. It's not like this house is a mansion. Uh, maybe he went upstairs. We can go have a look if you want. Oh. Ah, perfect. That should keep me out of trouble until the guests leave. Listen, it's a cruel, cold world out there, full of mean, hungry cats, not pushovers like me. I'll take my chances. You'll have to fend for yourself. And, and, and when you're sick, no one will make chicken soup for you. Birds don't eat chicken soup. Ah, oh, right, okay. Well, what about Betty? She'll be devastated. She raised and nurtured you. Smothered me, you mean? I've been wanting to break free from day one. And thanks to you, I finally did. I'm free as a bird. Farewell, Garfield. Oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Maybe it's for the best, Mom. How many times have you brought him into the clinic because he banged into a closet window, huh? He'll be happier out there. I'll be honest with you, Arbuckle. I didn't like you the minute I saw you, after what your cat just did. I know, it's unforgivable. It's... it's... It's a miracle! A darn bird was the bane of my existence! Heck, I've been trying to get rid of him for ages. And thanks to that cat of yours, he's gone for good! From now on, John, you're part of the family. Wow, I... I don't know what to say. Thank you, Mr... Uh... Bob? Mr. Wilson. Don't push your luck. <laughs> Garfield? Oh, I might as well get it over with. It's time to face my fate with dignity. Bag. Oh, merciful, merciful John. Take pity on me. Oh, please. Garfield, where have you been all afternoon? Your reward is getting cold. My reward? Ta-da! <laughs> you earned it, Garfield. Thanks to you, I'm on Mr. Wilson's good side now. As it turns out, Liz's father couldn't stand that canary, and you did him a huge favor by letting him escape. Oh, Mr. Wilson, a man after my own heart. Boy. <sighs> Listen to him. Don't dogs have any dignity? I've got a surprise for you guys. A surprise? Ooh, what sort of surprise? I want a surprise. Meow, 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 meow. 
The things I wouldn't do for a present. It better be worth it. I thought both of you could do with a little grooming before your monthly checkup with Liz. I humiliated myself for a grooming tool? Who wants to try it first? Garfield? You try it. No one touches this fur but my hairdresser. Odie! Good boy. Come over here. Hmm? Uh, hang on, Odie. Oh, hi, Liz. Lunch tomorrow? Sure, love to. Odie. Odie, yahoo. I'm bored. All that fuss over a mere brush? Whoa! You are a sad, strange little dog, Odie. Hey, Odie. Want to play kick the dog with me? What do you mean you'd rather spend time with her? It's just a stupid brush. This is a new low, even for you, Odie. Hey, if you break up with the brush, I've got some nice nail clippers for you. <laughs> What's up? Eh? Do me a favor and drop that stupid breast before they see you. I refuse to be the laughing stock of the entire neighborhood. Hi, Garfield. No. Hi, Odie. No. Hey, Odie. Is that a brush you're holding? No. More like an imaginary girlfriend. Look who's talking. Remind me why you always carry that teddy bear of yours everywhere. Uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that is just so cute. I have got to do something about that brush. <laughs> yahoo, yahoo. in this house. An imaginary and nut, you're out. <laughs> Dogs have the attention span of a goldfish. Give it an hour and he won't remember that brush. Trust me. Ah, shoot, I'm late. Liz is gonna kill me! Oh! Odie? Odie, what on earth are you doing? Odie, stop it! Bad dog! Bad dog! <laughs> Uh, Liz? Uh, of course I didn't forget our brunch. Uh, yep, I'm on my way. <laughs> hey, you don't happen to know a good gardener, do you? All that 
fuss for a stupid brush? This is ridiculous. And you don't have anything to do with the brush's disappearance, do you? <gasps> How could you think so badly of me? <sighs> okay, I did it. I got rid of that stupid brush. And I was doing Odie a favor, if you ask me. Oh, please, save it for the jury. You did it because you were jealous Odie cared about someone else. Someone else? We're talking about a brush, aren't we? For Odie, it was much more than just a brush. And you knew that, too. <laughs> nah, he'll get over it. <laughs> We're going to need more coffee. How about earplugs? Uh, not funny. Where's my breakfast lasagna? <sighs> Sorry, Garfield. I feel way too tired to cook you anything. Okay, sleep deprivation I can actually deal with. But lasagna deprivation? That is just flat out intolerable. I gotta fix this mess. Uh, I'm sorry, man. A brush. It has bristles and a handle. Perfect. Odie will never know the difference. Oh my! Odie, look who's back. Well, that dog isn't brain dead after all. Who would have thought? Okay, fine. You won. I'll take you to your girlfriend. This is where the cruel deed was done. Whoopsie doopsie. I'm gonna lose one of my nine lives just for a stupid brush. <laughs> Sorry, kid. This is an emergency. Hey! I'll bring it back, I promise. Welcome aboard and fasten your seatbelt. Went for one bumpy ride. Be just another greasy spot on Main Street. That was close. <laughs> Ech, barf. Dog. Bad. It can't get any worse, can it? Oh! 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 
Now let's get out of here. <clears throat> there you are. I've been looking for you all over. Ew, gross. You two smell as if you just crawled out of a garbage disposal. <laughs> <laughs> I can't smell a thing. What about you, Odie? Odie? Are you uh, free this evening? <laughs> How about dinner? Country Air Boys, wasn't it a great idea to go spend a week with my brother on the farm? No. Isn't it good to get away from the TV? No. And won't it be great to get up at the crack of dawn, work in the fields, and do chores? No, no, and no. And in that order. Yeah. Seven days with no TV, no pizza delivery, and John calling his brother a name he doesn't like. Don't call me Duck Boy. Don't call me Doc Boy. Don't call me Doc Boy. Don't call me Doc Boy. Doc Boy, Doc Boy, Doc Boy. Told you. You like working here on the farm, John. It's a very efficient operation. That's my farmhand, Ralph. How's it going, Ralph? Fine, Mr. Arbuckle. I'm just about to go commence the milk and the cows. Later on, Ralph will collect the eggs that my chickens have laid today. They are all very productive. Sure looks that way, Doc Boy. Don't call me Doc Boy. <clears throat> and later, he or I will milk the cows. I sell the milk, the eggs, the crops at the local farmer's market. It's going to be fun to work here, Doc Boy. Don't call me Doc Boy. <laughs> <laughs> You are way too happy to be here, Odie. I'm gonna start the milking, Mr. Arbuckle, but I wanted to ask you about something. We got this ad here. It says, high-definition cable TV, 250 channels of movies, sports, music, programs like Super Millionaire Name That Fish, and... Forget about it. We've decided not to have TV on this farm. No TV? That's inhumane. Well, there are some good things on TV. Maybe, but we took a vote. I let all the animals vote, and we all decided no TV on this farm. Do you want TV here, ladies? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what do a bunch of cows know? Just thought I'd ask. It's settled. No TV on this farm. Come on, John. You can go with me into town to pick up the supplies. Fine with me, Doc Boy. Garfield, you and Odie can do the chores while we're gone. I made up a short list. Chores? Is that anything like work? Oh, and before I forget, John... 
Don't call me Doc Boy. Doc Boy, Doc Boy, Doc Boy. Whew. We have an awful lot of things to do, Ode. We better get to work. First off, there's raking the leaves. Then we gotta wash the windows in the barn. Then we have to pile up the firewood. Missed a spot. Gee, all my favorite shows are on and I'm missing them. I know, I know, they voted. Well then, we'll just have to demand a recount. You know, Chad's. This here's how you get mail. Wouldn't it be easier to just go down to the supermarket to have a whole refrigerator case of this stuff? That's about if you give it a try, Cat. Now, this is a strange way to get milk. Excuse the claws, ma'am. <laughs> I think that's funny, do you? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just bored because there's no TV to watch on this farm. TV? What's so great about TV? What's so great? You can see the world without having to actually get up and do something. Look at all these great channels, like the All Hopscotch Network. And over here is special programming for cows. A cooking show with recipes for the most delicious cud you ever chewed. Oh, tell me more. Oh, everything on TV is so great. Do you really think we'll get TV out here soon? I'm working on it. Next up, we have to convince the chickens, then the horses. close to your farm, Doc Boy. We are. And don't call me Doc Boy. Doc Boy, Doc Boy, Doc Boy. Hey, that truck's from the cable TV company. I thought you weren't going to order it. That's what I thought, too. All hooked up, sir. I didn't order cable TV. Your farmhand did. He called, I rushed right out here. Got here before the pizza delivery guy. Pizza? <laughs> Buongiorno! I came all the way from the city, many miles, to bring you Vito's fine pies, as ordered, Doc Boy. I've got to get to the bottom of this. Don't you call me Doc Boy, either. So the secret of good Chubal Cud is to start with the top grade grass and weeds, avoid, you know, burrs, their stickers at all costs. What are you all doing? You should be giving milk. Shh. My cows aren't giving milk. But it's okay. My chickens have been laying lots of eggs lately. How's the egg production going? Shh. My chickens aren't laying eggs. Huh? But at least my horses aren't lying around watching TV and eating pizza. How much do you want to bet? What are you doing? No one's doing any work at all. I have to find out who's responsible for this. I have a feeling I know. And now, Mrs. Edna Flerp, 
for one million dollars. Can you name that fish? Looks like Herbert to me. You know, this living on a farm isn't so bad now. My cows are watching TV and eating pizza. My chickens are watching TV and eating pizza. Even my horses are watching TV and eating pizza. And do you know what they said to me? Shh. I'm ruined. My farm will be out of business. <laughs> I'm sorry, Doc. I poured my life into this farm and... Doc? You called me Doc. Yeah, I guess I did. Here comes the mushy part. Do you know how long it's been since you called me Doc instead of Doc Boy? A while? Uh... Oh. I'm sorry, Mrs. Flirt. The name of the fish you couldn't identify was Herbert. <laughs> Told you. And now we're dialing a phone number selected completely at random to see if some lucky viewer at home can name this fish. It's a freshwater silver crusted mango trout. <laughs> I know my fish. If the person we call is watching and can name this fish, he or she will win $100,000. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. The odds are like a zillion to one against him calling here. And again. Hello. Sir, are you watching Name That Fish? I know. I don't watch TV. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, I guess I'm watching. Super! Then for $100,000, can you name that fish? Sure, freshwater silver crusted mango trout. Why? That is correct! That is absolutely correct! You win $100,000! Doc, are you okay? I'm right sorry about ruining your farm the way I did, sir. Who needs farming? I'm rich! I'm rich! I'm sort of rich. I'm rich enough. Follow that man, Odie. He's rich! He's rich! He's sort of rich. Big screen TV, all the pizza, paid vacations for your animals? Your prize money will eventually run out. So when it runs out, I'll go back to farming. By that time, everything will be in reruns anyway. Mmm, good pizza do you have out here. Mmm, mmm. Okay. <laughs> Me like that, Garfield. The weatherman said clear and sunny with highs in the low 80s. It always rains when they say that. What rotten luck. My luck's been terrible lately. Aww. Good. The rain's stopping. I'm going to get in a little fishing. Hey, 
great rainbow. You know what's at the end of a rainbow, Odie? Huh? A pot of gold. <gasps> yeah. At the end of every rainbow, there's a pot of gold, and it's guarded by a leprechaun. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that mutton head mutt. He actually believed that old fairy tale about the pot of gold. You know, he's going to be finding it a long way to the end of that rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> me pot of gold! Someone took me pot of gold! It never fails. Every time there's a rainbow, another one of them treasure seekers comes round. <sighs> Odie will be back soon. More bad luck. He'll probably want me to throw the stick or something. I gotta get some sleep. <sighs> no, I do not want to throw the pot of gold so you can fetch it. He does that all the time. Throw the pot of gold so I can fetch it. <laughs> it is? It is a pot of gold. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. Huh? Now then, who took me pot of gold? It is. It is. It is. Oh, please, little kitty. A leprechaun is nothing without his pot of gold. Please, please, please give it back. I could reward you. I could give you anything you want. Okay, I want two pots of gold. No, three. And uh, throw in a pizza while you're at it, maybe some lasagna. Hmm, I sense you'll be needing a little good luck. I can fix it, so from now on, that's all you'll be having. Nothing but good luck. Hmm. <laughs> now you're using your head, you are. Here comes the good luck spell. Whoa, that didn't feel like good luck. <sighs> oh, this is a waste of time. The rain drove the fish too far underwater. Here, Garfield, reel my line in while I go get the car. Why should I reel your line in? Why I... No. Odie, I caught a fish. I caught a fish. No, I, I think it oh. caught me. <laughs> this still doesn't feel like good luck. What a great catch. Garfield. You are the luckiest cat in the world. If I'm so lucky, how can I have this fish on me? I'll barbecue this up for us right now. No, I'm not lucky. For one thing, I can't eat a big fish like that without tartar sauce. And where are we going to find 100 gallons of tartar sauce? This is Trans Tartar. We're an air freight company that specializes in the transport of tartar sauce. And I'm having engine trouble. I repeat, where am I going to find 100 gallons of tartar sauce? That stuff doesn't just fall from the sky. Radio Trans Tartar advise you lighten your aircraft's weight by 100 gallons of tartar sauce. Roger. Huh? I still don't feel very lucky. I feel like a mackerel. Hey, maybe there is something to this lucky stuff, Ode. Like if I were to decide I wanted ice cream.
Mmm. This isn't bad. It could use chocolate sauce. What I need to do is find a way to turn all this luck into money. In just a few moments, we'll pick the winning lottery number, and some lucky soul will win 30 gazillion dollars. 30 gazillion dollars? This is my chance. Ah, I have my ticket, Oster. And the winning number is... 7777777777777 What a surprise. I'm coming to you from outside the new mansion that was just purchased by Garfield, the gazillionaire cat. The palatial home has 84 rooms, more than half of which contain nothing but lasagna. What a terrific light snack. Now, uh, where's my butler? Will there be anything else, sir? Excuse me, sir. Someone is at the door. Oh, I'll get it. I haven't walked for a few days. Just being rich is great. I'm so lucky to have all this luck. Howdy, Cousin Garfield. Oh, I'm not your cousin, whoever you are. We were so happy to hear we had ourselves a rich relative. We couldn't wait to all come here and move in with you. Mm -hmm. Oh? Look at Look at here. All right, someone needs to help me get all my stuff in here. That's the back door doorbell. Who could that be? Garfield Cat, I'm here to get you to invest some of your 30 gazillion dollars in my great new business venture, the Electric Yo-Yo. Just a few billion and you could own a piece of this. And then invest everything else you own in my friend's business ventures. Invest in my business. I have a plan. Invest in my business. <sighs> Finally, I'm alone and no one's after my money. Mr. Garfield, I'm from the government and you owe taxes on your 30 gazillion dollars. <laughs> There's a state tax, the sales tax, <laughs> a screaming tax. <laughs> I'll collect the sewer tax. They need to get rid of all this good luck. There he is. Right there. <laughs> I need to find ways to have bad luck. Walking under a ladder is bad luck. Breaking a mirror is bad luck. Invest in my business. Garfield? What's the big idea paint me black? Don't ask questions, just cross my path. Mm -hmm. Having a black cat cross your path is bad luck. I must have gotten rid of all that good luck by now. Well, I guess I'll get some lunch. Maybe a sardine sandwich? Oh no, I still have my good luck. Odie, do you remember where you found that pot of gold? Uh, yeah, yeah. Take me there right now. I have to get that leprechaun to take back all this good luck before it destroys me. So. You want I should remove the good luck spell, do you, kitty cat? Oh, please, please, please. You do understand. If I take away the good luck, I also take away the 30 gazillion dollars. Take it, please. Have it your way, pussycat. Oh, Woody, I think my good luck is gone. Uh -huh. There's one way to check. Boy, I wish a couple of lasagnas would fall from the sky. It's gone. Come on, boy. Let's go get a couple of lasagnas the unlucky way, making John buy them. He 
sure learned a valuable lesson, that cat did. Look, here's what you make of it. He got that, and me? I got another 30 gazillion dollars! Woohoo! I am so lucky! Mr. O'Rourke, I'm from the government, and you owe taxes on your 30 gazillion dollars. Uh, let's see, state tax, nine gazillion. I'm so Sales lucky. tax, four million. So Exhaling tax. Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha